Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Point Perfect. Point Perfect is... Well, you know what? I gotta throw my, like, traditional descriptions of things out the window here. This isn't roguelike-ish in the least. This is not, um, a first-person shooter or an RPG or a sports game. This is not FIFA or Madden. This is... A mouse avoidance game, and that's a little bit of a gross misrepresentation of, and reduction of what's going on here, but basically, your cursor has like a one-to-one -one impact on the screen, so wherever you put your cursor, that's how you're going to interact with things, but it's not a point-and-click adventure, it's more of like a, almost a space shooter type thing. You'll understand as we get a little bit further along, this is a game that started on, well, I don't know if it started here, but it's available on Desura. Made it through Steam Greenlight and is now uh, available on Steam proper as of today. I don't have an official confirmation about the price point, but it's five bucks on Desura, which leads me to believe it's five dollars on Steam. And I played about 35, 40 minutes of this so far. Normally, I like to do a little bit more due diligence uh, before you know playing a game, just so you're comfortable recommending it or saying stay away. But this game is a little bit more of an enigma. I'll talk about all this stuff. Believe me, we're gonna die many times. Um, it's it's very interesting, and I don't mean that as like bad interesting. I mean it as like. Well, you'll see. It's it's a game that's that's unlike pretty much anything I've ever played. So, um, it, it's probably pretty easy to understand what's happening here at like a very basic mechanics level. I'm controlling my cursor. If I touch these enemies, I will die, and that's something that's very hard to get used to. Um, you know, you, you move your mouse around to try to like click and drag these boxes in order to touch enemies. Well, not touch enemies, but surround enemies. But if the enemies touch your cursor, you you die. Uh, we have three lives as represented by the hearts at the bottom. The kind of P meter in the bottom left represents uh, our targeting power. We got a little bit of uh, you know maze type game here going on, and it's not really a shooter. It's it's almost a, a weird little like. Gradius meets mouse avoidance meets like WarioWare type thing going on because you know half the game is These waves of enemies that come at you half the game is uh, those weird bonus levels where you have to do uh, kind of interesting objectives and the other half of the game Careful is uh, Boss battles, so there's three halves to this game. That's exactly how weird it is. Yes I, I understand that I'm an idiot so our overarching goal beyond just not dying in order to actually progress past this first level we need to get 200 points. I have never gotten 200 points. Um, the points are represented by what looks to be that timer in the top center of your screen. But it's not just a timer. Every time you kill an enemy, you also get, uh, you know, plus one to that. I wonder what boss we're going to be fighting here. Uh, and you can also get combos that give you even more. I have never defeated Ninja Knot. In fact, I've never, I've never defeated many of the bosses in this game. But I do have a power-up in the bottom right. Let's use it and see what it is. It's a lightning bolt. I want to use the lightning bolt. I don't know, it, it must be a passive then, it's probably like a speed upgrade. Oh man, that ninja smoked me. Um, so we got three lives left here. I've got to figure out how to kill this ninja. You know, bosses have patterns for, for how to actually defeat them. Ah, that's how we do it. So we actually reflect the, the ninja star back at them. I'm probably going to die over the course of this. But yeah, we need to get over 200 points across three different runs. So this counts as our first run. I don't, maybe there's, there's something to do with like the angle that I can actually reflect this back. Oh, there we go. All right, so I've learned the avoidance pattern for the most part, at least. Oh, careful. Oh, we did it. We at least hit him. Careful. Oh, god damn it. Well, we have one more life left. We can maybe make this happen. Uh, the the thing to know about the score of the game is that they actually discount uh ooh, your uh wait 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 okay they discount your lowest score. Uh, so you need to get over a hundred average between your other two runs, which is, you know, not too likely is maybe the way that I would describe it, at least for my personal play. I've never even made it close. Fuck. <laughs> I've never even made it close to getting past uh, this section. So every time you finish a level, uh, you get like a, a perk, basically. I'm going to take that perk. You use that uh, perk active item, however you want to describe it, with the right click button. So we got 78 there and died to Ninja now. Let's continue and see if we can actually make something good happen here. So these, this is more accurately described as a perk, I guess. We can choose um, what we want to, what benefit we want to start the level with. Uh, increased points per second is super useful. More lives is super useful. Increased targeting power, not that useful for me in my current skill level. So I'm going to take increased points per second just so we can maybe actually get out of this. Uh, and I'm going to use my active item, which gives me full targeting power, which is that P meter at the bottom. Basically allows us to draw a, uh, a much broader spread, which is important. Because if we can actually get three enemies in one uh, box, which, as you can tell, I'm not very good at. Um, if you can get three enemies in one box, then um, you get a combo. And a combo is nice because it gives you a little bit of extra, you know, love in the points category there. So again, every level that I've played so far has been divided up into, like, this wave-based stuff. Followed by, oh, that's good right there. 
Yeah, there's wave-based stuff followed by a bonus level. Oh, these are the toughest ones. The one where you just go through the maze is easy. Click on the nodes to pass. Okay. All right. I like the, uh, this bonus stuff, even though it's it ends up being very difficult. It also adds a, a great deal of variety to the game. It ensures that you're not just doing the same stuff over and over. Actually, like, find myself quite charmed by the game. And this is that's not a, a phrase, I don't know if I've ever used that before in a Let's Look At, but I, I really sincerely do. Hey, we fine-tuned and ready to go. Please tell me we just passed it. Hey, good. That was actually one of the easier ones. Um, yeah, like, th this is a game where, as I'm playing it, I really feel like it's it's got a lot of heart and it's got a lot of, of humor and, and some creativity associated with it as well. You could... That's not good. Um, you could um, probably take issue with like the core gameplay if you wanted to, and I wouldn't even necessarily blame you for doing that, because um, it is—it's a little bit unusual, and I think it's very easy to look at something like this and say like, "Oh, that's super easy to make because you're just avoiding stuff, and you know your cursors map one to one or something like that." You know, I'm not a game developer, so I don't know, um, and I don't really care. All I care about is the actual end product here and whether or not it's. Uh, it's fun, and I've had a surprisingly good time with this game so far. Um, and I say surprising just because when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, I expect this to be like a, you know, a, a addicting games or, you know, early 2000s era new ground style game. But no, it's it actually is like a, a fully featured and, um, and, and fun product. So I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea how to actually damage Dead Pixel. I fought it many times. I've only won bo one boss battle. If I had a complaint that I could offer... Um, the complaint that I would offer is that the boss battles are way, way fucking hard. We could still get to 200 points, though. We have one run that's at 100. If we can just, um, get this one to 100 or over, we could actually progress, and that would be a landmark moment for me. So let's use our item, get our targeting power up to full as soon as possible. Oh, so this is gonna be a little bit of a, a, a different level. And th this happens sometimes in the third phase of the game. Um, actually, it might happen every time in the third phase of the game, for that matter. Uh, but... The third levels, oh no, that's so bad for my chances of success. Uh, the third levels tend to be different. It's hard to really draw these targeting boxes while also avoiding the bullets. And I think, you know, just even on a more basic level, it's kind of hard to get used to the idea that your cursor is actually what you're controlling. And it makes it, oh, we got our bonus. It's time for space ball. I'm not good at space ball. Hit all pitches to win. You would think that this just means, you know, get your face in the middle of the pitch. Well, so far so good, right? Um, but no, if you get hit by the ball, you actually lose that. Tip! Okay, I could use that. Oh no. What is an RTS search? We got a little WarioWare vignette here. I guess they want me to not play this game anymore because I'm uh, so bad at it. Oh, careful. There we go. That was pretty good. We took down that ship. I don't know if we got a lot of extra points for that or if it just looked nice. But what's done is done. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fucked. But we'll do another run here. But yeah, um, I, you know, it's it's a smallish game. I, you know, you, you get the, the gimmick kind of quickly, but they, they keep throwing fresh stuff at you, which is kind of cool. 178 points is honestly probably the best I've ever done. Again, they discount your lowest score. If we could just beat a boss, we might have like a real chance of making this work, but let's try again. Uh, yeah, I, I like it so far. And if I could offer complaints, there are complaints that I would offer. Again, it, it's very difficult sometimes to do like the two different, uh, or two... Same, um, or what am I trying to get at here? Like, competing desires that you have. You have the desire to not get killed, but also the desire to be aggressive in getting enemies. Um, and maybe my methodology for, like, targeting is just terrible. Maybe there's a much safer way to do it, like always going backwards or something like that, instead of going forwards into the enemies. Uh, or, like, focusing on combos more. I don't know. Uh, but, but I have found it very, very difficult to both survive and focus on getting on as many or getting as many points as possible. And I do think it's a little bit difficult and there's like difficulty spikes and imbalances where, you know, some of these bonus levels are nearly fucking impossible and some of these bonus levels are I am not going to say too easy, but easy enough that, you know, beating them is actually possible. See, I, I didn't have a chance to save that shit there. I mean, I did the it's not that the game's being unfair to me, it's more that I'm just bad at it, but still. So let's see if we can stack up some uh combos here ideally you have to watch out for the asteroids because it's it's very easy to get them into a combo but they also shoot bullets when you break them because that's what asteroids are made out of uh, in real life as well as in the game and it makes things a little trickier this is a pretty good run so far though it is like your, your targeting power never gets to the point where you can just like click and drag over the whole screen so you do have to be cautious 
We're gonna get to like 93, 94 here. And who's this boss? It's, it's Pong. The paddle, okay. 93 is a pretty good score. I can't be too salty about that. Okay, so we're gonna have to hit... Didn't expect that. Uh, we're gonna have to hit these... Uh, Pellets back at it, I would guess. Oh, good, good start. Yeah. So I guess if you uh, if you miss, you're just fucked. So let's try not to miss for a third time. Hey, there we go. Oh, I'm so screwed. There is no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Come on, work with me. But it's cool how you know it's it's referential. And, oh yes. And it um you know it, it plays up uh you know video game tropes and knowledge and stuff like that, which is really neat. Oh, it's chasing me. I shouldn't get caught. I've really got to make that wider. There we go. Got to get it like five times. There we go. Maybe we can actually beat this boss. If you beat the boss, you get like 50 bonus points or something crazy like that. No! No! I hit myself with the own, my own uh, uh, puck there. That's okay. Alright, so I don't really like the butterfly net, but... We'll take it instead of our existing item, mostly because I just don't, don't know what our existing item actually does. Alright, if we can get a boss that I could actually beat, that would be awesome. I like increased points per second, uh, that, that helps me out a lot. Let's do this. Okay. And you know, I'm trying to think of like, oh no, I hate this level because I suck at it. Um, I'm trying to think, oh you get plus five points for breaking the ship. Okay, so I'm thinking you go like, you want to make that super thin. Oh, geez. Sometimes, another complaint that I would offer is that sometimes, maybe this is just me, but when I'm playing in um, windowed mode, my mouse actually ugh, goes off the screen, and then it just freezes my cursor in place wherever I last had it, which is frustrating. So I've really got to try to shoot down those ships, because that's a lot of potential bonus points, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that amazingly here. What is this one? What is this one? Okay, it's another maze. I can do the maze. That's 10 extra points. Maze is actually really, really easy relative to most of the other bonus levels. Click on all the boxes was probably the easiest out of all of them, though. Oh, there's there's some really hard avoidance ones with, like, boxes that come in off the screen or, like, a line that spins around and you've got to stay, stay on the right side of it. So, like, maybe, like, this somehow? Or maybe it's best to just... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna... T <laughs> I'm gonna try to do better here, I promise. Like, I think it's best to maybe take out one. Uh, that didn't work at all. Yeah, th this is, I, I much prefer like the vanilla stuff if I'm going to uh, have a chance to actually win. That didn't even target it. Yeah, this is not gonna get us a lot of points, but at least we'll learn something about the bosses here. Please don't, I, I want this to actually not be a boss that I can beat. I, uh, I'm bad against this boss, but I think I know how to actually do damage to it. It shoots out a lot of bullets. We avoid all those bullets. And it, it, all the bosses are pattern based, as you might expect. Um, so you avoid the bullets, and then it goes into its second phase, which allows me to kind of get in behind it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, oh, yeah, but you gotta watch out for those bullets, and we're dead. Well, that one was never gonna work out for us. What do we have here? Hero's Shield. Deflects most minor enemy weapons fire. That seems really useful, actually. L okay, so we need 107 points on this one. There's no ambiguity here. Increased points per second still helps me out the most, I think, because I, I don't seem to have trouble at least making it to the boss with uh, with HP left. Oh, no. How could you? All right, now this is a moment of truth. Oh, hero shield. The greatest projectile, of, or the greatest um, passive of them all. That's huge. Um, oh. Oh, it's so much harder than you would think just to look at it. I got so close. I, I shot down like two of three sections on so many of those ships. Oh, I'm definitely not going to pass the bonus stage, so there's no doubt that I'm going to have to beat the boss here to make this work. And if you're looking at this and you're saying, hey, Northern Lion, this actually looks really easy. Go for it, mother... God damn it. But seriously, go for it, motherfucker. Um, I, I look forward to seeing some high-level uh, point-perfect play, because, I mean, clearly I'm not going to be the one providing it. Oh, I should have just made that a little wider. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, that's not minor enemy weapons fire, apparently. 
So watch out for the blue ones. The blue ones are dangerous. Oh, the, you can actually draw over the spaceship. Oh, man. Okay. I should have noticed that a lot earlier, I suppose. But the fact that you can draw over the spaceship means that it's actually way easier to get the kills there than I thought. You don't want to get too close to the bullets, but with Hero's Shield, I probably should have been way more aggressive. Oh, we're fucked. Yeah, we're, there's no way we're beating this boss. If it w There's a boss that's a little bit like Skolex, which is actually uh, pretty easy to kill. Um, and I, I beat that boss on my first try, and I've never beaten any other bosses. I think, given a couple of tries, I could probably beat the paddle that we saw. Alright, so he does this, and then we sneak in there. Oh, I hate myself right now. I do. That's, again, pretty close to my best score, though. Like, 176. It's up there. So there is more to see when it comes to point perfect. Uh, but I'm not the guy to see it with, you know, I've unlocked basically no trophies over the course of the entire game. Uh, I, I unlocked one, Exterminate Galactipede. That was the one boss I killed. Um, there is like a Facebook competition. If you're the first person to unlock all the trophies in the game, you win like the Golden Cursor. I don't know exactly what that is, but um, you can check that out on the Facebook page if you're interested. I, all I know is that I have a lot more uh, practice to do in Point Perfect before I actually uh, end up making progress. But I like it, you know, it's, it's small, but it's also cheap, and it's charming. It's, uh... Occasionally frustrating, very, very difficult, in, in my opinion at least, maybe because I've never really had much familiarity with games like this. Um, but I, I came away, or I'm coming away from this, pretty impressed, and I think I'll be, uh, I'll be playing this uh, kind of casually to try to at least get uh, past this first level. Because it's got some unique stuff going on, it's funny. Almost reminds me a little bit of like a Mouse Avoidance McPixel or something like that, if you know what I mean. But uh, even if you don't. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check it out on Steam, it should be five bucks. Uh, there's a link in the video description below where you can pick it up if you're interested. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, it helps me out a lot if you could click the like button. Only if you enjoyed it, though. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more first impressions in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.